It has been a devastating week for victims of sexual abuse in the Catholic Church. The grand jury report releasing the names of priests sent shockwaves through our region. Tonight, one of the highest ranking cardinals in the church was back here in Pittsburgh. Pam Serrano was there and is live with more on this story now. Pam. Good evening to you, Kim. Yes, Cardinal Daniel Donardo was back in Pittsburgh tonight. Now, he declined to talk to the media, but we did speak to Pittsburgh Bishop David Zubik and some of the faithful attending Mass. The highest ranking U.S. Catholic Cardinal Dan Donardo was back on home ground at the church where he was founding pastor. Presiding over a packed mass at Saints John and Paul in Sewickley, he took time to meet and speak to parishioners, many who know him from his time here. Cardinal Donardo called this a devastating time for the church, and parishioners felt his presence here was unifying. Even though he's so holy and blessed that we're all human, we're not perfect. And he's a perfect example of that. Cardinal Donardo would not speak to the media because of his position as president of the Bishop's Conference, but Bishop David Zubik did speak on his behalf. He feels particularly sensitive that this is in his diocese and he doesn't want to um, uh, you know, speak for me, said I'm here so that I, you know, that I can be able to speak to the, the cameras. Bishop Zubik, who co-presided over the Mass, read a letter to the faithful that will be aired at all Sunday Masses throughout the diocese. He spoke out again about the pain this has caused. Oh, I was ordained 43 years ago and I was ordained to try to get people uh, into, into heaven and that's what we're all ordained to do. And to think that some people abused uh, that responsibility and worse yet, did horrific things to other people. It makes me angry. Uh, it uh, makes me sick. As for parishioners, many were trying to digest the upsetting events of the report and look forward to the future with hope. Christ is our the person we look up to, and <clears throat> not not individuals who may have gone astray. And so we pray for the church. We pray for the the victims. We pray for the priests. In that letter, the bishop also outlined some important steps the church here in Pittsburgh is taking now, among them hiring a monitor for priests who have had allegations made against them, who have been removed from active ministry, and also a child protection expert has been hired here as well. Live at the Catholic Diocese of Pittsburgh, Pam Serrano, KDKA TV News.